Welcome to 321 Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost. Here are five reasons to use adjustment and fill layers in Photoshop. First, fill and adjustment layers are non destructive and they can be edited at any time without any loss of quality. Now, to save real estate, I typically close the adjustments panel and then use the adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel to access both my fill as well as my adjustment layers. Here I'll make a quick adjustment to the curve and as long as I save this file in a format that supports layers, I can edit or even delete the adjustment layer at any time. Second, you can change the blend mode of your adjustment and fill layers. In this case, to restrict the effect of the curves adjustment layer to only affect the luminosity values in the layers below, I'll change the blend mode to luminosity. Third, adjustment and fill layers have their own layer masks which can be used to selectively hide and show the adjustment in the image. I'll tap the G key to select the gradient tool, then change it to the default gradient and click and drag up from the bottom of the canvas to hide the adjustment layer at the bottom but still reveal it at the top of the image. Fourth, you can change the opacity of the adjustment and fill layers at any time. Here I'll add a black and white adjustment layer, use the targeted adjustment tool in order to darken the blues in the image, and then decrease the opacity of the layer in order to reveal some of the colors in the layers below. Finally, adjustment and fill layers can be clipped to affect the contents of a single layer or to a layer group. Here I'll add a solid color fill layer, choose a color, change the blend mode to color, and then to restrict the effects to only the light bulbs in the tree, I'll select layer and then create clipping mask. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.